everyone, and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload in the last session. We have been continuing on in the days after the most recent full moon. Chidori remains in hospital, and there were some interesting things going on with her losing control of her persona and uh, needing to be given a suppressant by Shinji. And there's talk of side effects to do with those, but we don't know what those side effects are currently. And uh, yeah, continuing on. I heard a rumor that you went to Kirijo-san's vacation home. Not only that, but Takabe, Yamagishi, and I guess were there too. And the best part of the rumor is they were all wearing bathing suits. Is that true? It sure is. No way, are you serious? Wait, don't say any more. I can't take it. Why? Why are you so damn lucky? <laughs> so, uh... I wonder what Chidori is doing right now. Probably sitting in a hospital bed. I wish I could see her more often. Bro, how are you so damn bad for this girl, man? You literally spoke to her twice before she tried to kidnap you. Like, come on now. Still no Yuko, huh? Motherfucker. Wait, what was that? Oh. Shinji's got a thing. Fucking hell, we've got so many of these recently. Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, well. I guess that's what we're doing. There's been an actual crazy amount of these recently. Hey. Let's go out, if you've got the time. Should I spend the evening with Aragaki? Yes. Yeah. I see. Come with me, then. Two specials. Two specials coming right up! What's wrong? Not hungry? Why'd you bring me here? Because I said I'd treat you. I can't go back on my word. It's bad for my conscience. You're so faithful. That's supposed to be a compliment. Here you go. Two special. Point is, you don't go back on your word. Especially when it comes to something you promised. It is great, like, there was a, we've had a few of these double exclamation mark hangout things before, but in the last, like, five days or something, we've had Koromaru twice, we've had Mitsuru once, we've had Ken once, and now we've had Shinji. Right. Don't want the noodles to get soggy. I was thinking earlier, you really don't take any shit, even from your elders. I respect straightforwardness. Less trouble that way. Let's finish up and get the hell out of here. I. Hey, Welcome girl. Back. Were you together? Hmm? Wait, Aragaki. Have you considered returning to school at all? It's been some time since second semester started. Regarding your attendance, it'd be best if you went back as soon as possible. Uh, you didn't turn in the paperwork? I got the paperwork, but I don't remember saying anything about turning it in. What's the point anyhow? I got no business there. Then why... why did you come back here? I apologize. It isn't my place to ask that. Everything is my fault. I shouldn't have gotten you or Akihiko involved. Cut that out. I'm the one who chose to join you back then. However things turned out after that has nothing to do with you. I didn't know what I was capable of. That's all there is to it. Then why are you so determined not to return to school? You'll be throwing your future away if you don't go back. Let's calm down. Right. I apologize. I was out of line. I don't plan on forcing you into anything, like I did in the past. What's important is it's your own decision, Aragaki. <laughs> Looks like you have changed. Just a little bit. You always used to avoid relying on people. Not so much of a lone wolf anymore, huh? The only choice we have is to keep moving forward. That goes for myself, Akihiko, 
and you. So please, Argaki, just give it another chance. What are you guys up to? Looks like a pretty serious discussion. Let me guess. Miss President is lecturing the delinquent on the importance of his education. Akihiko! Well, I'll be damned. For a protein-fueled, muscle-bound moron, you're pretty smart. What was that? Fanta? See ya, Miss President. This delinquent's gonna go to his room and think about his bad choices. <laughs> Wait, we're not finished yet. Akihiko, why are you like this? Huh? Dad, uh, what just happened? Was it something I said? Muscle bound moron. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can get away with being cheeky hey, like that in uh, the hangouts because they don't count towards like. Uh, what do you call it? Like social link points or whatever? I feel like my charm improved after hearing Aragaki's perspective. Is it maxed? Nope, but surely soon. Surely soon. And then we can finally get Yukari's social link. Can't wait. Welcome back. Greetings. Uh, wow, that's a whole lot of fucking already seen text boxes, huh? Oh, you're the cook? What? What do you want? Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. Huh? You want a fruit knife? What for? You're gonna use it for cooking? Hold on. Fruit knife. There you go. It's kind of old, but it has a great grip. You can have it. Hmm? What? Bother someone else if you're bored. I got nothing to offer you, apart from the fruit knife I just offered you. Okay, let's see. What is available? Uh -oh. Good day. Here are my re let's hear the results. What a sharp, shining blade. That must be the fruit knife I asked for. It seems as though it's been in use for a long time, but it's almost as sharp as the day it was made. I bet it has been used to cut a wide variety of things, not just fruit. How splendid! It's an all-purpose cooking tool. Hmm, there's something written on the handle. Graduation, gift, orphanage. Very well, then. This item appears to be quite dear to someone, so be sure to take it back with you. Huh. He gave us something that was dear to him. Uh, would you bring me some oil frequently used by one of your acquaintances? Okay, this is, I guess... Of course. This time, I'd like you to fetch me some oil. Since there is a vast selection of this item, it would undoubtedly be extremely difficult to collect every single variation. Therefore, I only ask that you bring me the oil frequently used by one of your acquaintances. By all means. Eight. Very well. Okay, we can teleport straight into the lounge again now. I wonder why it didn't let us do that for a bit. Yes. Is there something I can assist you with? Oh. I see. You're looking for oil. That is something I do use regularly. I have a large stock of silicone oil. It works well with precision components. If you like, you may have some for free, Makoto-san. What a steal, as they say. Why does she always say, as they say, man? <laughs> it's so weird. Good day. Here are wonderful. Ah, is that the oil I requested? Oh my! Silicone oil for precision components. My, this seems to be the real deal. I wonder what its intended use is. Should I apply it, soak in it, or perhaps drink it? You have my thanks. Well, in any case, this completes my request. As for the oil, you can take it back with you. And that's something for, I guess, 
And that's all the way. Okay. Boop -a -doo. Very well. Let's equip those things then. Shinji. Uh, the bus stop sign is not as good as what we got for you. Never mind. And I guess Rocket Punch is better. Slightly less chance to hit, but a decent... Is that our first 200 damage attack, actually? I think it is. Yeah. Shinji got 190. I guess now has a highest attack weapon. And it has a high chance to confuse. The only issue is... Slightly lower accuracy, but you know, 85% chance is pretty high. You're gonna you're gonna win that roll most of the time. You know. So she has the highest attack stat. Uh stats wise, does she have the highest strength persona? Uh well obviously you're behind, so you have 36 strength. Uh Sonata has 31. Uh I guess has 43, so that's huge. Uh, what about Shinji? Shinji also has 43, so I guess is equal to Shinji in terms of strength stat, but I guess obviously had the benefit of a whole load of uh, strength boost cards. He just comes naturally. Oh my god, I just realized his persona has no strengths or weaknesses. Huh. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize he had this. That's cool. Survive a fatal blow with one HP remaining. So you can massively lower his health and still survive, potentially, even if he does get hit. Is that once per battle? I assume that's once per battle. It doesn't say that it has a limit on it, but it must do, right? Cool. Uh, we haven't got any characteristic stuff for you yet. Uh, whose characteristic stuff do we have? Uh, you have the weakness buffer. Reduces damage taken when allies' weakness is struck. Right, we've got one of those, but we need more. Uh, we haven't done any of yours. You have auto secunda. That's all right. We haven't done any of yours. Uh, fizz boost for you. We definitely want to get the other one of those. We got both of yours. Uh, yeah. Got both of yours. Haven't got any of Junpei's at all. Got both of yours. And we've got increased damage when stri striking a foe's weakness, which is good. Fine. Um. Okay, what were we actually doing today then? Uh, we're doing... Bro in the club again, right? <laughs> Whoa, come on, booze! I want more booze! Huh? Huh? Oh, you took your sweet time getting here. You're late! What kept you, huh? Matatsu stinks of alcohol more than he usually does. He must have been drinking a lot. Don't you think it's rude to make someone wait? Dad tell you not to do that, huh? It's my first time hearing it. Huh? <laughs> it's the first time I'm telling you? Oh, that's right. I guess it is. I thought you got in a drop dead somewhere. Something. Don't make me worry like that. He thinks we're his son? Where the hell are you wandering around? It's late. I was studying. Studying? Uh-oh, he what, didn't like that. You know, I thought he'd like it. College so you can work at some big company? Don't bother. Even if you bust your ass, don't you remember what you and your mom did to me? Uh, mm. You. What, what the... All this time, I thought you were... I guess my eyesight is getting bad after all. Unfortunate. It seems Mutatsu was worried about me. Rank 8. We are getting there with him now. But we only got one singular note during that combo, so we're definitely not going to rank him up again next time. Spending all my 
my time with clients, missing anniversaries, birthdays. I wonder if they felt the same way I did. I was waiting for you earlier. Uh, who's they? My wife and son. We were all together back when I was still a businessman. It's already been four years now since they left me. We used to stay out past midnight all the time. My wife and I would always fight about it. Now when I go home, I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, I just come here and drink every night. Are you running away? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I shaved my head, but that was just for show. I get drunk to avoid facing my problems. Oh yeah, I guess you could say I'm running away. She hasn't contacted me since then. Must have gotten over me already. I have no idea where they are. Or if they'd even want to see me. It's too much of a hassle. Alright, kid, enough of the depressing talk. Let's get out of here. I want to go home and take a shower. I left the clock. Saturday the 12th. Good morning, this is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. This time in particular, I believe this human is oh? an acquaintance of yours. Goodbye now. It seems someone I know is lost in Tartarus. If I don't save them, the consequences could be irreversible. Like it's a social link and we wouldn't be able to complete it. Our next topic. Alright, our next chapter goes over the problems of the Kamakura Shogunate. The Kamakura period's cool and all, but it doesn't beat the Sengoku era. Have we covered enough of this yet? I can skip to Sengoku now, yeah? Yeah, let's do it. We're taking a deep dive into the era, starting from the beginning. Actually, fuck that voice, that voice hurts the throat to do. <laughs> uh, let's just do some nerdy voice. As I'm sure you all know, it's generally agreed upon that the major factor in the Sengoku era's formation was the Onin War in 1467. After that, the next big one was the Coup of Mayo in 1493. Let's look a bit closer at the Onin War first, though. In 1467... I'm feeling sleepy. Stay awake. Right. Well, it's already time. I can't believe that went by so fast. We've only made it to 1467, but there's still so much to cover. I guess there's no other choice. Next time, we'll jump ahead to 1468. I forced myself to stay away. Bum, bum, bum. No one else is going to be here today. But they said we still can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why I'm in here in the first place. Oh yeah, uh, how's that cut doing? Ah, right. Probably healed already, huh? So, uh, you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. Huh, your flowers wilted. The heat must have got to him. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some fresh ones? Well, what's your favorite kind of... Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> Whoa. Huh? Flowers. Yeah, those are cut flowers, right? Whoa. How'd you do that? I gave them a little bit of my energy. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? This is just another form they can take. 
Well, yeah, I guess. But that's about all I've got going for me. Without this power, I'd be a nobody. I just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. A good reason to live? Good reason. When I was a kid, I had this silly dream. A dream? I used to want to grow up to be a pro baseball player. Pretty stupid, huh? But I guess that's part of being a kid. I wouldn't really know. I don't remember much from my childhood. I only remember one thing. Being surrounded by white. Everything was white. She was in a lab. Hmm. Get experimented I hate on. hospitals. Oh. You do. Um. Sorry. But you've been coming to see me here. So, I don't mind as much this time. Chidori. Did you mean it? Then I'll come to see you every day. Class is ended. Uh, nothing new from I guess this time. All right, nothing new from anyone here actually. Oh my God, you guys available? Please, God, don't tell me there's some fucking thing that I got to do. Double exclamation mark thing. Please allow me to do you goes. Yes, I think we're good. I think they're good to do you goes. I do have a strength persona on me, right? Hooray! Oh! It's a Dorican. If you're leaving, wanna hang out somewhere? We all need to take a breather sometimes, right? Yup. <laughs> cool. How about we head to Chagool? We can take our time chatting there. So then I went to ask about it after class, and you know what happened? Miss Miyahara just wouldn't stop talking. She wrote out some weird math formula and said, It's beautiful, isn't it? All it did was make me more confused than I originally was. I guess I'll have to go ask again tomorrow. You're so hard working. You think so? I guess it just feels wrong to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and I got yelled at by a coda. Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. So, I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? Uh, an instructor? Hmm, close. You almost got it, Mr. Ex-Assistant Coach. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. It's their job to monitor each athlete's diet and help them plan their training routine. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate and then work towards earning my certification when I turn 20. Between the general education requirements and the classes for my major, it's going to be over 350 hours. Yeesh. That's why I'm going to start studying right now. Improving my writing is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three-page essay, but those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day. And I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. If you hadn't been there with me, I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end. And I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, thanks. Yuko seems appreciative. I feel like I I feel like our relationship has grown. Clap. Uh, also, I know I'm always asking you to stick around and help me with stuff. I just, I kind of feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I realize now that I might have been relying too much on you. Now this 
It's rank 9, right? So this is probably the relationship moment. I guess I don't mind would be friend route and you can rely on me even more would be relationship route. Now, in Persona 5, you could only choose one person because if you, like, you could choose more. But if you did, then, uh... You'd get fucked over come... Was it Valentine's Day? Oh yeah, so Persona 5 did go through to Valentine's Day, didn't it? So I guess we've got more months... Assuming it's the same here. I guess we've got more months left than I realised. But, um... Yeah. Apparently in this game, I've been told that there is no negative for dating multiple people so long as you max them out before you start dating someone else. If, if I started dating her and then started dating someone else and she was still only at 9, then it would, like, break her social link or some shit. But if you get them to 10 and then you start dating someone else, apparently that's fine and it doesn't affect anything and there's no, like, Valentine's Day thing where you'll get fucked over for it with them all confronting you or anything like that. Apparently it's all just fine. So I, I guess I will date a bunch of people. And just, yeah, so long as I max them out and get them to rank 10 before I do it with someone else, then it's all good. So, let's see where this goes. You can rely on me even more. Oh. Why... Why are you so nice to me? Yuko seems restless. I better choose my words carefully here. Okay, this is the choice. Are you like this just with me? N no, no, that, that can't be it, huh? Ooh. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, going straight in there, huh? It's because I love you. Huh? huh? What? <laughs> you mean me? Uh, uh, are, are you sure? I'm not girly or anything like that, you know? What's happening? <laughs> Is this a dream? She's gonna have a funnier reaction to this, probably. I love you, Yuko. Uh, um, me, me too. Yuko's face is bright red. <laughs> I feel the same way as you do. That's why I'm so happy. Thank you. I have entered a special relationship with Yuko. There's no going back now. Uh, I have to go. I've got to study. Um, I'm looking forward to us. Cute. After saying goodbye to Yuko, I decided to go back to the dorm. Very cute. So yeah, we'll max her out next time, and then <laughs> we will start dating other people. Hell yeah. Wakoto, insane player. Hey. Because obviously, uh, if I was only dating one person, then it'd be Mitsuru, but, uh, I'm curious to see how they all go, and if there is no negative repercussion for it, so long as you max them out before you do someone else, then I just want to see it all, you know, because I'm never, never going to have the time to replay it, so I want to see it as much as possible. Koromaru seems to be in a good mood. By the way, Koromaru-san says that he got a very tasty meal from Aragaki-san. He was very excited and mentioned that he'd won over his stomach. What could have happened to him? I am concerned. <laughs> Can you feel it too? When you go near Junpei, it's like, how do I put it? Like he's radiating happiness, maybe. Did something happen to him? Um... Uh, um, can I help you? Uh-huh. I'm glad Junpei-kun is back to normal, but do you think his relationship with Chidori-san will work out? She's a member of Straga. They're our enemies. I have no idea. Well, yes, Just when but... they were starting to get along, such an ironic twist of fate. Hey. Have you ever thought about what you're living for? Uh, to a certain extent? Hmm. Wow, never took you for the philosophical type. Okay, good chat, <laughs> I guess. Uh, okay, Mutatsu will not rank up. President Tanaka will. I just thought, is it tomorrow? Is it tomorrow that this is available? <laughs> yes, it's tomorrow. Oh my god, I've got to remember. I've got to remember. I've got to remember. I probably won't remember, but I've got to remember. Uh, 
we could do the guy in town. I think I want to do Shinji, though. I'm more interested in Shinji than in that guy. And we've already done the first one of these, so if we can do at least one more, we'll find out what his characteristic is before we go in next time, because I will use him a bit next time. Well, I've already seen his Theogy. I haven't seen his all-out attack thing. We'll use him a bit. And uh, Ken, I guess, as well. Huh, I bought too much. Guess I'll freeze him. What are you standing around for? Aragaki's cooking skills are on par with that of a professional chef. If I get Aragaki to teach me, I might be able to make some delicious food. What do you want? Teach me how to cook. What? Huh? Why should I? Ugh, don't think I'll go easy on you. We're having Katsudan again. Got it? Don't give me that look. We got a lot of pork, because it was cheap. Part of me thinks starting with fried food might be hard. But the basics are pretty much the same. You're a real oddball, you know that? Asking me to teach you how to cook. Why do you want to learn so much? Uh, I want to be popular. Well, we all got our own reasons. <laughs> Can't hurt to know this stuff. But you better put in the work if you want to be popular. I was taught how to cook by someone else too. So, when I see someone who wants to learn, I can kind of relate. All right. That's enough rambling. Let's get started. You're gonna do it this time. So first, get the meat ready. When you're frying something, stick a chopstick in the oil and check for little bubbles. Wait, you're putting on too much heat. The meat ain't gonna taste good if it's too tough. Pretty good job, considering it was your first try. You still got room for improvement though, especially in the way you handle the knife and fryer. But if you're serious about it, and just practice. Exquisite katsu. All right, let's clean up. You ain't done cooking until everything's put away. So don't slack off. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, dark hour time. Hi, it's been a while. Sup, creep. Three seasons have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly. And in that time, many things change. But at the same time, some things in this world will always remain the same. Don't you agree? Uh, does it, is there anything that remains the same? I don't know. I feel like everything changes. Hmm. If that's what you think, then maybe you're right. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. Like that tower, for one. It's been on my mind a lot lately. I wonder, will our relationship stay the same? Or will it evolve? <laughs> no matter what the future holds, you and I will always be friends. That much is certain. For some reason, Pharos is smiling sadly. I sense a stronger bond with him. Clap. I'll see you again. But until then, good night. Yep, see you in like 14 days. 15 days. Sunday the 13th. There's no school today. It's almost time for the home shopping show. Good, good. Emergency vest. Not bad. Twenty-four thousand eight hundred. Bruh. Bruh. Bang. Bubba. That's crazy. Oh, that's some crazy shit right there. Uh. Maya will rank up, but for fuck's sake, Shinji's got a fucking double thing today? Why? Why put these on Sundays, man? Why put these things on Sundays? It's so hard to fucking... Ah, man. It's like I'm never gonna be able to finish two people that are Sunday exclusive when there's other fucking stuff being put on Sundays as well. What on earth were they thinking with this? Hmm. Koromaru always seems to be having fun, doesn't he? He gets so excited over a meal or a walk. 
I wish my life was that simple. I just remembered. Yes. Yes. I remembered. I did it. I did it. The space. Hallelujah. Can we talk? Come to the back alley. Tell me, what do you personally think of Shinji? I know how he can come across, but he's not a bad guy. Yeah, he can be a nag, but still. Well, feel free to put him to work on the team. Now, I like Shinji, man. Salut. I hope you're getting along with Aragaki. He's a little rough around the edges, but deep down, he's a really nice guy. Just give him a chance. I will. Don't worry. Chance has already been given. He's good. I like him. Alright, so... Well, it's a choice between Maya and Shinji. I wish I could be certain that these things would come back, but I'm just not, you know? If I was certain that I'd get another opportunity to do these things, then I would... Then I would do Maya, because... Those are so rare, but I just don't want to risk it. Because these are like unique hangouts, so I think that Koromari one came back, but I can't be certain that it was the same thing. I don't know. My bad. Sorry for calling you up so suddenly. You got a minute? There's something I want to talk about. Should I spend the evening with Aragaki? Thanks. Thanks. Shouldn't take too long. I got a favor to ask you. Give this to Kirijo. Oh, Preferably he's rolling. School. I haven't suddenly decided to go back to school or anything. Seems like That's you have. Form to extend my leave of absence. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Rip. Don't make much sense to be in an extracurricular squad if I get expelled. I thought no, he was fucking I'm given. But if I can stay absent from school. God damn it. Um, why are you giving this to me? Going myself would be more of a pain than it's worth. Plus, it seems like Kirijo depends on you. It should be pretty easy to hand it off if you do it at school. I'll pay you back for this. So help me out, alright? Have you talked to Sonata? This has nothing to do with him. Besides, I already know what Aki would say. Huh. I don't see you two together very often. What are you guys doing back here in the middle of the day? What are you uh, doing here? That envelope. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not the form for returning to school. <laughs> hey, if Shinji keeps this up, you'll be his classmates next year. <laughs> you and Junpei should practice addressing him casually. In fact, go ahead and boss him around a bit. I'd rather get expelled. We're gonna finish the battle this year. I've got no reason to stay enrolled after that. Shinji! You know exactly how concerned Mitsuru is about you. You know what this form means to her, don't you? Don't tell me you forgot your promise. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't want to drag you into my problems, but... Still counting on you for that. I've never seen Shinji ask someone else for help with his own problems before. He'd never say it out loud. But I think he really trusts you. Not as much as you. I don't know. Yeah, we've known each other a long time. But sometimes, being too close to somebody can have its drawbacks. I'm not gonna nag Shinji about going back to school anymore. Just do what you think is best. 
I'll leave it to you. Samantha didn't say much on the walk back to the dorm. I feel like my academics improved. <laughs> Why? Who knows? Clap. Oh, welcome back. Where the fuck is everyone? Oh, hi. Let me think. Just one thing. Whether or not I fit into your battle plan is up to you. You can remove me from the party whenever you think that's for the better. Mm. Don't worry about my feelings. Alrighty. Everyone's chilling up here, huh? Okay. Um. I'm so happy Aragaki Senpai joined us. He's really made things easier on us. But we shouldn't let him do all the hard work either, or else we won't grow stronger. <laughs> wow, you're actually for real. For real? Jeez. Of course she is. What's so shocking about that? You should learn from her example. Excuse me. With Aragaki san as our ally, we are a much more formidable force. This is the ideal time for us to ascend to Tartarus. Yeah. Seriously, I'd love to keep our momentum going and charge through it. I'd love to never go there again. That'd be great. Excuse me. No. Yeah. Hey. I'm so glad that Aragaki Senpai decided to return to the team. I mean, he's strong in battle, but also just knowing that he's on our side kind of puts me at ease. Uh huh. Yeah, I agree. He looks kind of scary, but in reality, he's such a strong and kind Senpai. With Aragaki-san around, the atmosphere is so much more serious. Yes. With Junpei-san around, the atmosphere is so much more childish. <laughs> Ouch! That hurt, Ai-chan. I don't even got a comeback for that. Damn. Yes. Uh, no. I see. Ba -da -ba. Okay, Mitatsu, I guess we go and do his just to... Well, I do need to... I need to do that uh, computer thing, don't I? Should we do that? Um, right, what was the thing that I got that I apparently never did? Security side note? Was that it? That's probably it. Uh, apparently I got this months ago and I didn't remember to ever actually do it on the PC. Effective security measures online. This seems to be a website that helps with training security team members. There's a list of self-defense videos here, each with a detailed text explanation. I guess I'll start with the most watched video. I watched a how-to video on subduing violent individuals. I learned the importance of having the will to stand up to an enemy. Maybe I can use what I learned in our fights in Tartarus. You learned how to use ambush. You can now ambush enemies while exploring. When ambushing an enemy, you'll trigger chance encounters regardless of the direction an enemy is facing. Press and hold right trigger to dash for a set distance to enter the assault state. By pressing X while in this state, you will ambush the enemy. Triggering an, an encounter from behind will increase Mak Makoto's theurgy gauge and may distress the enemy at the beginning of battle. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess distressing them at the start of battle would be good. Monday the 14th. 